All right, now I'm about to ream this thing out. I got this set here. This here is the guide tool here. You have to put it through this um, jig that they have. And make sure that it goes all the way to the top, to the bottom. Once I have this lined up right, move that out the way. And I'm using this reamer here. Some uh, I use foam and stuff here, easy foam, cut and do it. I'll put it all in there. Way too long. All right, let's go. all the way that's it this out now I'm gonna have to put an oversized valve the thing about the reamer is going to cut all the ridges off so you won't really have a problem there so uh, now when I get the oversized valve it should move in freely since this reamer is cutting this out now you won't have a problem now As you're taking a reamer out you pull it back and then let it keep turning the way that it turns for cutting you see all this dark stuff inside here it came out but it's had a bunch of stuff look at this you can see all this dark dirt stuff that's inside there this is what that thing is trying to push out, that that uh, bore tool and the ridges. Ah, forget that bore tool. You're going to deal with this. And put an oversized valve in there and be fine. Be finished. Alright, so now I am about to wash this out. And 
get the oversized Sonics valve. Boy, I hate this because now I wasted money on the bore tool and on that Sonics valve. I will, I think I'll always just ream the valves out. That bore tool, I don't understand that anyway. I, the way it worked, I tried it. If you got a ridge in there, it's supposed to go in there and push the rig down or smash the ridge. But if you smash in the ridge, it's going to make it tight. You know. Now, if you're pushing it through and try to chop the ridge off, okay, but it didn't do that. It kept sticking. And then there was uh, something in there tearing the valve up, as you saw. So, reaming on this one is the way to go, at least for me. Okay, as you saw, I went with the oversized valve, reaming it. I have this Sonics thing here. They come with an oversized valve and a spring. And you saw me use these reamer tools right here, okay? Now, when I push this in, now, let's see. It goes in all the way. See, like right there, it went in. Let me see. Make sure. Yep. Right there, it went all the way. No resistance. Uh-huh. Right there, it's just going right in. Push it back. And go right in. So, the best way of doing this valve, I would say, is not that bore tube that I showed you. It's best to ream this thing out. Put the oversized valve in there so you don't have any frustration. Put their ring in there and then you're ready to go. Okay.